Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step beginners tutorial for Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a free spreadsheet software and is arguably the best spreadsheet software on the entire market. This video is going to cover everything that you need to know as a beginner from how to access Google Sheets, how to navigate Google Sheets when you get inside, because at first glance, this can look very, very confusing. And then we will take it a step further with functions, which is the most helpful feature on Google Sheets. This video is a complete step-by-step -step guide. So even if you have never used Google Sheets or any other spreadsheet software, all you have to do is follow along with this video and you will walk away knowing exactly how to use this awesome tool. The first thing that we need to do is actually get access to Google Sheets. So to do this, all you need to do is open up a new tab and then in the search bar at the top, search for Google Sheets. From here, we want to go for this one. So not the top option that has this Google logo, but the second option that has this kind of green cross logo. Click into this. And then by default, this is going to take you over to a blank Google Sheets document. However, for now, we, we don't want this right now. We will get into this later on. So for now, just click on this green button in the top left corner. And this is going to take you over to the Google Sheets dashboard. Now, I want to explain this first as this menu can give you a little bit of direction. And maybe you can even see one of these templates that fit your need. So right at the top here, it says start a new spreadsheet. And if we look over on the right hand side, we have a template gallery and then we have some templates right here. So if we open up the template gallery, you will be able to see a bunch of templates that Google Sheets has for you. And you can use any of these by simply clicking in and then you will be able to access that template. So that is just something I wanted to brush over real quick. The second thing that I want to mention on this screen is if you scroll down, this is going to show you all of the current sheets that you have. So these are all of the sheets that I have created. We can see the title, the date this was last opened. And then if you want to get into any of these sheets, you just click in and then you can start editing and going back to that sheet. However, for now, to start off this tutorial, Let's go ahead and open up a completely blank spreadsheet and we will talk about how this works. So this right here is Google Sheets. As Soon as you open up a blank Google Sheet, this is the screen that you will be taken to. Now you will notice that the Google Sheet is essentially made up of all of these little squares right here. And these squares in Google Sheets are called cells. So we have a bunch of little cells that make up this entire sheet. And if you click into one of these, it's going to select that cell. And you can see the cell that you currently have selected by this blue outline on the outside of that cell. What you will also notice is that we have letters going along the top and we have numbers going down the side. The letters that go down, these are called rows. So A, B, C, and so on. Downwards, these are called rows. And then the numbers, so across, one, two, three, and so on, these are called rows. So columns are down and rows are across. To start entering data into your spreadsheet, all we need to do is select one of these cells, double click on this, and then we can start entering data. Now, this spreadsheet that I am going to be creating is kind of like a financial tracker across these different months. So I'm first of all going to enter in the title for this data. So in here, we want to go for the month. Then I'm going to go for income and then expenses. And then here I will also go for total. Then I'm going to start entering in the months. So I can type in January right here and Google Sheets is extremely smart. So it would take me a long time to go down and write all of these months. I don't want to do that because I would rather have this done for me. So Google Docs will notice that we are entering in months and obviously we would want to cycle through the months. So what we can do is select January right here and then this little dot next to it we can simply click and drag down to 12 and then look at this. It's going to autofill all of the months. So I went a little bit too soon there. Let's actually go down to 14. There we go. So we now have all of the months that are filled in. Now, Google Sheets is also going to do this with days of the week. If I type in Monday, for example, select this and then drag down. Look at this, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's just going to cycle these again and again and again. We can also do this with dates, for example. 
So if I go for the 1st of January 2024, we can drag this down. And then you can see it's going to autofill the rest of this data. So we can set it up like that. And that's a very cool feature that we get with Google Sheets. What we can also do is start making changes to the color and the size of the text to really make this spreadsheet look like we want it to look. So for example, we can go up to the top here and I really want these months to be kind of a different color and I want these to stand out as titles. So the way that we do this is along this top row. Right here we have font size, we can make the font bold, we can italicize it, we can strike through, we can change the text color, and we can also add a fill color to the cell behind it. We can either do this one by one, so if I select the month and start turning this up, you can see the text size is going to change. If I want to make this bold, I can make this bold as well. If I want to change the color, I can change the color here, and I can also change the cell color behind. But what I can also do is change multiple at the same time by simply clicking on income, for example, and then dragging this to total. So I click my mouse and drag all of the cells that I want included in this. And now if I make changes, it's going to do this to all of these at the same time. If you have text that is too big, or maybe you type something that fills up the entire cell, right now, this doesn't really look professional as the text is bleeding into this next cell. So we want to change this. The way that we do this is very simple. So I can see this column right here, F, this is where the text is, and this is where it overruns. So all I have to do is go to F, where the text starts, right click, and then down here from this menu, we can see resize column. So I can click into resize column, then I can either enter in my own size, or the better way to do this is fit to data. And then as soon as I click OK, it's going to resize that column perfectly to fit the data in. I can do the same with C right here. We can see expenses is overrunning. So I right click, resize column, fit to data, and that looks perfect. If you make a mistake on your spreadsheet and you want to go back, well, we can simply do this by going up to this undo icon in the top left corner. If I click undo, you can see it's going to start undoing these changes. I'm going to go back until it's the default and all of this text is back to normal. Just like that. So let's now go ahead and actually format this in the correct way. So I'm going to make this cell behind black. I'm going to make the text white. And then I'm also going to bold this. Then we can clearly see the difference between the title and the actual data that we are inputting into this spreadsheet. So let's now go ahead and fill out the rest of this data. I'm going to start entering in my income into here. So let's say I made $5,000 in January. And then I'm just going to fill the rest out with some random data that I'm going to pick up here. So I now have all of my data entered. However, I have this entered in as numbers and this is money, like this is how much money I made. So what we can do is actually use these formatting options along the top to use this. So all I'm going to do is drag from the top to the bottom, all of the numbers that I want to include here. And then I'm just going to format this as a currency. We can also format as a percentage. So if I highlight all of these and then format this as a percentage, these are now all going to be formatted as a percentage. We can also decrease the decimal spaces and we can also increase the decimal spaces if we want to. We can go to more formats right here and format this as plain text, scientific, accounting, financial. There's a lot of different things that we can do in here and this is how you can format. So once again, I'm just going to format this as currency and I now have my income and expenses formatted as a currency. So I've got some maths to do here. However, I'm pretty lazy. I don't want to sit and add up the total income that I made for the year. However, I do want to figure out the total that I made last year. So what we can do with Google Sheets, and this is very cool, is if I want to calculate my income, all I have to do is click and drag and select all of the boxes that I want to add up. And then look at this. In the bottom right corner, it's going to show me how much all of this adds up to. So I can see last year, I made $67,866. So I'm just going to enter that in right here. Then once again, we can format this as a currency and I now have my total income for the year. Then we can go along the top and we can figure out my income minus my expenses. So actually I made a mistake here. I should have put expenses as minus, otherwise this is going to mess up the equation. So now all of these are set to minus. If I go along the top, we can see the total for January. So my income minus my expenses is $1,505. So you get the idea. We can go down and we can basically do this into infinity and we can get Google Sheets to do the math for us. But that's just so.
look what else I can do. If I highlight these once again and click into the sum area, I can also see the average that I made every month was 5,655. The lowest that I made in a month was 1,998. That is December right here. The most I made was 9,859. That is right here in June. And then I can see the total amount of cells that I have is 12 cells. And the count number is going to be the set. So that is how we can do math manually using Google Sheets. However, we can also set things up called formulas to do this automatically for us. So let's set a new one up and say this is 2023 and I did this manually. However, for 2024, which is going to be down here, I want the computer to do this all for me. So what I'm going to do is just copy these dates down here, add them in. Then I will copy this bar from the top as well and add this in right here. And then I have some new sheets that I can use. So I'm going to enter the total in right here. And what we can do is set up a formula so that this total is going to track automatically every month. And this is how we do this. We click into the cell, click on equals, and then we want to create sum. This is going to add them all up. Now, I'm not going to go into detail with all of the different functions that you can do inside of Google Sheets because there is so many of them. And it would take me, frankly, this tutorial would be five hours long just looking at these. But I want to show you the basics, which is sum. So I can go sum right here and I can now select the cells that I want this number to be a part of. So what I'm going to do is select this top cell because I want to obviously calculate January. And then all I'm going to do is drag down to December. And we can now see that this is automatically going to calculate B20, which is this cell right here, B20, to B31, which is this cell. So then I just have to close the brackets and enter this in. And watch this. As soon as I start entering in my totals right here, let's say we made 4,000 in income. That's going to calculate it. Then in February, let's say we made $5,500. It's automatically going to do the math for us right here and fill this in every time. So I will just fill this in with a bunch of random numbers. And you can see that number at the bottom, the total amount that I made for the year is automatically going to go up every time I enter in a number. Now, if I enter in a number here, that's not going to change anything up here because we only selected these cells. So these are the only cells that it's going to calculate between. If I wanted to increase the cells that I took into account, we can go up here. This is B31. But what we could do is set this to like B38 and it's going to calculate every cell between these. Then we could do the same for expenses. So we go equal sum, select all of these, just like that. And now if we start entering in the expenses, so let's say minus $300, minus $5,000, you can see that it's going to add those up as well. Another thing that we can do here is, let's say you have a big bunch of data right here, like I have. However, you need another column in the middle. Like this would be pretty confusing. Like what if I need something in between January and February? Well, there's an easy solution for this. All we have to do is go to this right-hand panel where the numbers are, right click on this, and then you can see I went to 21. So if I right click on 21, we can either insert a row above or we can insert a row below. So let's go above. And as you can see, I just entered a new row in there. And this is now 21. We can also do the same at the top. So if I go for F right here and right click, we can insert a column both left and right. You can't really see this because I don't have any data there. So let me just enter some data. Then we can go insert a column right. And as you can see, there's now a column in the middle of these. So that is the basic spreadsheet. However, what we can do is we can really bring this data to life by putting this data into a chart. So to do this, we just go up to this top bar and click on insert. And then you can see we have the chart option right here. So we can select the chart. And then by default, it's just going to select the data range from the last cell that you had selected. However, we can choose the data range that we want to input data from. So let's say I want to track my income over last year and I want to put this in a chart. So all we would do is go to the data range. And then the first piece of data that I want to collect is this cell right here, B3. So I'm going to enter in B3. And then the last piece of data I want to collect is B14. So I put a colon, then B14, enter. And look at this. I now have a chart that's going to track my income. Now we can also go up and choose a different type of chart. So we could maybe go for a line chart. And then I can see a line chart of my income. I can go for an area chart, a pie chart, a bar chart, all of these different charts right here. So all you would do is just select the data range that you want to track. I could do the same for expenses. 
So this is income right here. Let's add a second chart. And this by default is going to be income and expenses. So cool, we could keep that. Or alternatively, if I just want to track my expenses, I'm going to go C3 to C14. So C14 is already there. So I'm just going to change this to C3. And just like that, we are now going to have this chart is going to be tracked. So I can now have an income and expenses chart. Now, there are a lot of other things that we can do inside of Google Sheets. I'm going to leave it here, though, as a beginner's tutorial. However, if you do want to see a more advanced tutorial where I really go into the granular details and explain every element of Google Sheets, then let me know in the comments and I will definitely create that video. The last thing that we are going to touch on, though, is what we can actually do with this sheet now. The first thing that we can do is, of course, title this. So right here in the top left corner, Right now, this is called Untitled Spreadsheet, but I'm going to go in here and change this name to Financial Tracker, just like that. Now my spreadsheet is named. Then from here, this is all auto-saved. It auto-saves as you go. So I could just back out of this. My sheet is going to be saved, and then I can see it right here to get back at any time. We can also share this sheet with other people by going up to File and then Share. Then we can share with others. Enter in the email of the person we want to share this with, then we can click on send, and that's going to share the sheet with them. So that is my complete tutorial on Google Sheets. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.